Hello. What's up, bitches? What up? Hey, it's me. And we're gonna do some makeup. It's a pretty makeup look. Uh, it's pretty much any makeup look you want, of course. But we're just gonna go. Yeah. Welcome to our YouTube channel. What is this? This is just my cellar water. Oh, my cellar. Oh. How have you been saying goodbye? Lelure, I always say it wrong. It is this cream that just moisturizes you all up and it's just good for the base. And then my favorite, which you guys all seem to really like, the NARS Coca Cabana step. I'm gonna pop that on all the high points. Does it actually feel like it actually makes a big difference? Yes. Because I'm it's always like, I want to be glowy, glowy all the time. That makes a difference, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are going to be using the Giorgio Romani Luminous Silk Foundation. Hey. I keep thinking <laughs> the other one, but I'm just like, yeah. you like double feel. Double feel. My friend tells me that last one. She's like, it's the best foundation. And I'm always it like, is like, I'm like, I'm for it. It, look, it is about $100. It is fancy, but it is worth every single penny. I find it's the most like universal foundation for most skins because it's not like. The name like the color. feel it. No, just the, the actual foundation on people's skin, like it suits all the different oh, skin types. Okay. Because it, the name, impressive. yeah, it's pretty good. Because like the name makes us think, say like luminous. You think it's gonna be like really glowy. It's yes. actually a little bit more matted. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. So it, that's what gets me. But the finish of it is natural. Like it's that's really just so pretty, pretty. Because I'm like undecided with her. Like I think because when my skin was oily, I used to like matte because I was like matte. Like stays less yeah. glowy. Yeah. I freaking love like glowy stuff. But you can have that glowy look and still have a white hair matte. Nah. So we're yeah. going to now go in with the bare minerals. And I use it, it just to conceal it down. So just through the T zone area, just to give a little bit more coverage. But Jess has like amazing skin, so we don't have to like. <laughs> I was already going to question you on my dark circles. So like, my age. Yeah, you know, you can just look at I haven't seen much, but. I just went in and got some. It's actually eyelash primer, but I'm using it on the eyebrows to pull them up before I put on any color. <laughs> hey. Wait, what? The is like fully back. Yeah. Potentially getting a body massage. <laughs> Keep your posts <laughs> squad. <laughs> like, I remember learning that on some kind of YouTube makeup guru's channel. Really? To contour or to like. Yeah, I guess to contour like above. Yeah. Like, not to go like all the way down. Well, people might go underneath the cheekbone, and if you want it to look high, which is the whole idea of it, you go just above. Uh, yeah. The color right now is sourced. Look it up. It's so good. And blend, blend, blend. <laughs> I feel like it's nice that it's safe. That's enough. Make the pants. Represent. I really do. I still have the time. First, she checks the weather and then she just throws up a shirt. <laughs> Yeah, beach man. <laughs> okay, so we're with the um, cane, the cane, <laughs> the cane pepper. <laughs> the cane pepper. <laughs> okay, back to Jess. Back to Jess. Okay, and I'm just going to be doing this on the outer edges of the eyeline stuff. And you, you can see what I'm doing. I don't need to explain it too much because I'm bad at explaining things. But if I come in close. Just through here and here, but not extending it and just popping that in. She 
this wand. Why do you go out to all like Maybe you're like living your dream now. <laughs> I know, I feel like I've just gone like back to like party and I'm like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Big floor. That's what he's doing for. She's old, guys. She will never stay. <laughs> A little bit different though at the same time. They do. Yeah. Like I met them her sister in person just recently. And um just yeah, I felt like they look similar but different. Why hello there? Bye. Great with names, but Kevin Queen. How you do it? That, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Do that. This is Morocco. Mm. You like? Yeah. Here, we're back. We're back, bitches. I am using the Becca under eye brightening cream. It is like amazing, and anyone that doesn't know what it is, just buy it. Not sponsored, but semi products when it should be sponsored, but not. Going with the Harvard Beauty Co. Lashes! I don't know which ones these are, but they're individual 8mm. Fake tan. Okay. It's probably really thing. But yeah, no, you look yeah. really tan. <laughs> I see the clothes, it's so close to my face. It's got it's got it's got it's got like out to me. Even though yellow hairdresser, letting y'all know. I love the gold. Really? I do. I've got a thing for it. I'm a bit of a weirdo like that. It's weird. I know a lot of people are like it. Look cute. Some of the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. Amazing. She's left us. <laughs> And I'm limiting where I put this, so I'm only going underneath the eye area, around the nose. Get rid of that sweat that could be there. <laughs> um, and then I also always go in these smile lines just to kind of set it, otherwise the foundation will seep into it. And then always just in that teeth. So, right now I'm gonna go in with using the MAC Soft and Gentle, it's a holy grail for a lot of people. And we're just gonna go on this bit here, just really, really softly, just dusting it in that one area and just really getting it there. But not going eh, just like soft, soft, soft sweets that are really, really light and thick. So like I mentioned before, really just soft little tiny butterfly strokes that very quickly like the Nars again because it is like the best thing ever just on those apples of them cheeks. Make them fine. Okay. It's so highlighting. It means hey, just with a straight head. Not always. I've just started doing it. <laughs> I get the blush. I'll show you the blush I'm using because Jess thinks that's a good idea. <laughs> Here's the blush. Nah. Hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's like this shit. It's got like kind of like a gold sort of flush to it when it, the pigment sort of hits it. And I just kind of go over the nose a little bit and just through this area just to give the whole face a bit of flush. More natural. I always use one of those um, like crayons. I do. Like a nice pink crayon that's like, I don't know, red one or something. I love it. I love it.
So we're going in with the linen lips. This one is the color Perfect Nude and it's for dry lips. Okay, I'm in this right now. <laughs> I've just lined them. No biggie, sorry we didn't film before you, but you can watch the extended one if you swipe fast on YouTube. It's annoying, so I've always heard the line, so I'm like, hee hee, they are. <laughs> I love that, I appreciate that song. <laughs> Everything is like, um, what are we going in with? What is it? I don't even need to explain it, people. If you don't know what this is, like, I can't see it. Obviously, if you don't know what this is, you are living under a rock. <laughs> I go to town. Wow. So, this is the end look, everyone, on the lovely chair. And I'm just gonna go in with some highlight on Dan Cotterbells. I was gonna say cheekbones, but <laughs> both areas are fine for highlight. All bones, good for highlight. All bones. Get them in the cage of it. Imagine that, you'd be like, bling bling. <laughs> Makeup, just takes 